on one of my social media blogs, <laughs> I uh, received a question. I know that I'm smart and I know that uh, I'm intelligent, but no matter what I do, when I'm out socializing, I feel inadequate. I feel squashed, you might say. Anytime you perceive somebody as being more intelligent than you, more successful than you, more wealthy than you, more stable in relationship than you, more socially savvy or connected than you, more physically fit or attractive than you, more spiritually aware or enlightened to you. If you exaggerate them, you're going to minimize you. Anytime you compare yourself to others, instead of comparing your own actions to your own highest values, you're going to self depreciate. The self depreciation is result result of a law of contrast. Let me give you an example. If I put three beakers of water, a beaker of water here, a beaker of water here, a beaker of water here. <clears throat> on this one, it's 40 degrees Fahrenheit. This one's 72 degrees Fahrenheit. This one's 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Each has a thermometer in it, and it's objectively showing 40, 72, and 140. If I put my hand into the cold one, the 40 degrees, and leave it there, if I sit for a second, I'll, I'll estimate the temperature about 40 degrees. If I pull it out, let my hand go back to room temperature, stick it in the room temperature, I'll estimate it to be about room temperature, 72 degrees. If I take it out and go put it in the hot one and let it there for a moment, I can register and it's probably going to be around 140 degrees. So if I'm sitting there and not comparing it to the two, but just going from one and pausing and going to another, I'll be able to give an objective view. But the second I take my, my hand and put it in the cold water, and leave it there, let it get cold, I'll think it's 40 degrees, then I immediately put it into the 72 degrees, right out of the cold water. My interpretation of that cold, that tepid water, the balanced water, 72 degrees, will feel like 90. And so because of the comparison to the cold, it will seem hotter. Just like if you go into a cold pool, into a hot pool, it seems even hotter. So in the process of doing it, you'll have a subjective view because you're comparing that tepid water to something else. If I take my hand and stick it in the hot water and leave it in there a few minutes and then go back to the tepid water, it'll be 50 degrees. It'll be colder than what it is because I'm comparing it. This is what the difference by the law of contrast, the difference between objective valuations and subjective ones. And so anytime you compare yourself to other people and put them on a pedestal or pit, you're going to put yourself in the pit or pedestal relative to them. So if you put people down, you exaggerate yourself. If you put people up, you minimize yourself. Anytime you exaggerate, minimize yourself, you're not being yourself. Now, if you go in there and identify what it is that you perceive in them, that you admire, that you think exceeds you, and then go and find out where do you have the equal same trait. For instance, if you think they're highly intelligent, they're highly intelligent in what they value most. But so are you. You're highly intelligent in what you value most, but you have a different set of values than them. And if you honor them for their values and look up to them, then what happens is you'll minimize you because you don't have the strength of knowledge in that area that they do. What's highest on theirs? Because you have a different set of values and what's intelligent to you. For instance, if I go to an IT conference and I meet somebody that's highly intelligent in IT, I'll go, whoa, I'm like an idiot because that's not my highest value. I delegate to IT. But when it comes to human behavior, I have the same amount of intelligence they do in my area of expertise. I'm not lacking the intelligence. It's just in a different form according to my values. So nothing's actually missing in me. And I can only admire it of them when I have it in my own form. And when I realize that it's in my form, I don't put them above me. I don't minimize myself and I feel confident speaking out. The same thing if I go and I look down on somebody. And I, if I go and look at where do I do that behavior and own that behavior and discover where I have it, because I do it, I've done it on thousands of occasions, and then I find out that I've got that too, then instead of putting them down, I level the playing field. The moment I level the playing field, I have an objective view, and I don't feel intimidated about going and interacting with people. So socially, the only reason you're having a self-depreciation or intimidation or non-confidence or self-depreciation is because you're putting people on a pedestal and thinking they have something you don't. I want you to say to yourself that no matter what, nothing's missing in you. 
So whatever you admire in somebody else, look for the form in your life where you have it. Have reflective awareness, not deflective awareness, and, and liberate yourself from the minimization because of the exaggeration of others. And don't be fooled by facades. Their outer appearance can fool you. A lot of times you think, you think these are heroes and they have a hidden villain somewhere inside. They have an opposite side. If you go in and ask that person that may be very knowledgeable about IT, they may have no understanding about relationships or human behavior. So you're exaggerating where their strength is and not realizing where their weakness is. Just like you have a strength and you haven't. I'm pretty, pretty okay in the, when it comes to human behavior. But IT, no, I delegate that. I'm kind of a klutz on that. I have areas where I have strengths and areas I'm not too bright in. So I'm not more intelligent or less intelligent than somebody else. I just have my area of intelligence and my area of ignorance. So I'm both. So go and level the playing field and you will find yourself acknowledging your intelligence and not minimizing yourself because of social settings. Just wanted to share that idea with you because as long as you compare yourself to others, instead of compare your daily actions to what you value most, you're likely to have a yo-yo response and that feeling proud and shamed and proud and shamed, which are inauthentic expressions of the magnificence of who you are.